I'm Haley. Rachel. I'm Courtney. And tell me a little bit about your project there. Our project is on beach pollution and what gets washed up on the beach every year and how much like rubbish there is and what's increasing and decreasing during the years. Uh, basically we found out that plastic's increasing and glass is decreasing because glass is more like expensive to make than plastic is. So yeah. Why did you choose this particular project then? Um, one of our teachers works with the Marine Conservation Society and he suggested it would be a good idea to investigate it and um, find out like all this stuff. And how did you actually gather all your data then? What sort of research did you do? Well, the past five years the Marine Conservation Society have been doing beach collections um, on Kellar Point Beach. And what they've been doing is they've been tallying it and um, after they've tallied it they would put it in a, into a graph and well that's what we've done and then that's how it got. And is this something that interests you? Uh, yeah indeed because like whenever we came into the project we didn't really like know that much about it but now it's like a really really big issue so like something needs to be done about it so we're going to... It sounds to me that the nice thing about it is that it's something which actually makes a difference to people. Yeah, it does. Um, like, um, we were going to write letters to um, different um, groups of people to find out like, if we can help the pollution to decrease the amount that's being washed up. And do you expect to do some more work with the project after the competition's over? Um, well, yes, we've got a few suggestions from some people that have come up and told us that our, um, our project would be good for different competitions like eco competitions. And so, Olivia, tell me a little bit about the project. Um, well, we decided that we would measure the capacity of snail kakari over different surfaces um, and we used a variety of different snails to do this. Uh, what was the reason behind your project? Um, well, the reason we did it was we were going to do a snail slime and make a product at first, but we decided then that it might be too complicated and we decided to do the muscle power of the snail and to find out more about the snail itself. So how did you actually get all the data for your project? Well, um, first of all, to actually um, see how much they carried, we had to make a harness for the snail and it's here. So um, we made that by using a wee plastic cap. So um, we set up for a torch stand and put a clump, um, put clumps up and then a tile in between them. So um, we set the snail upside down on the tile and when it was fully gripped to the surface we hooked the um, harness around it and put in ball bearings. So um, then when it fell, that, it had reached its full potential. So it, and then we measured how much it had carried. So what were your results then, Olivia? Well, we found out that the bigger the foot of the snail, the more they could carry, and the smaller the foot of the snail, the less they could carry. But it was a very constant rate that they could carry through every surface. But if they had um, a mass of more than five grams, it was a very varied result of each surface. Uh, can you just give me your names, please? I'm Gemma. Erin. Evelyn. And just tell me a little bit about your project. What is your project all about? Our project aims to help pupils in our year 12 um, facing their GCSEs at the end of this year to improve their short-term memory. But we want to see if there's any relationship between short-term memory and the profiles that pupils were put into after CAT tests. We were just uh, trying to see which strategies would be the most effective for certain people because um, our um, results showed that um, the CAT tests didn't seem accurate enough. Um, they didn't split people into enough groups. So we're just hoping that ours will somehow like help the people in our year. Yeah. So how did you get all your data then for this? Um, we did a lot of like tests, and some of the science science teachers helped like carry out tests um, with our whole year group um, during school, and then we just put all the data onto a big spreadsheet. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about the, what your findings were. 
Um, well, we found out that the strategy that works best is um, manipulatives, and it's um, about like ladders and connecting words, and also um, learning conversations, like um, talking through like with somebody about it. Because 95% of what we learn is actually what we actually teach somebody else. And we also found out that the CAT tests aren't actually as reliable as um, some schools might have believed.